Empires on the Rock. Your calls are coming up too, folks. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. We're going to get into Ukraine as well. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with fluoride shield. I use fluoride shield every day. Secure your fluoride shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, the ultra-hardcore, true-cutting-edge, desperate transmissions that you hear here. We are desperate. I mean, we're up against a serious enemy. Only desperate men can defeat it. I forget who it was, the top samurai, one of the top samurai in history said that the way of the samurai is desperate. A, a desperate man can defeat 10 or more men. Guys, pull up that quote for me, the way of the samurai is desperate, and then it'll give uh, who said it. The point is uh, that we're not going to beat these people being calm. They always tell us, be calm, be nice, go along with the process. Just, you know, comply, comply with globalists that want to butcher our country, want to destroy our liberties, that are involved in insider trading on 9-11, that are using 9-11 regardless to take our liberties and freedoms. It's incredible. So remember, when you spread the word about this broadcast, you are making it possible to wake up more people. When you spread the links to the free podcast from the listen page of InfoWars.com, when you post on Facebook or Twitter or, or talk about on your own YouTube channel or at work, InfoWars.com, when you su subscribe, and by subscribe you can buy them in bulk at cost, the InfoWars magazine, big glossy magazine for a dollar a piece when you buy them in bulk, 
You can hand them out to friends and family, leave them at the barbershop, leave them at church. This is how we're going to wake people up. This is how we're going to affect change. And it's essential that you go to InfoWarsStore.com and get the men's and women's Molon Labe Come and Take It shirts that are so incredibly popular and our bestseller ever with the Spartan helmet, the crossed M4s, and the victory wreath. People will ask, what's Molon Labe mean? It means come and take it. You can tell them the story of 300. Tell them the story of Gonzales, Texas, and the Alamo, where they flew the come and take it flags. And the 1776, they said, come and take it, Molon Labe. We are just rediscovering what liberty is all about. Come and take our liberties. Come and take our guns. Come and take our children. We aren't complying anymore. We're going to stand. We're going to fight. 300 against 100,000. How do you do it? Well, you find the proper spot where they've got to go through you in a narrow gap, and you don't give up. You fight to the death, giving people enough time to save your entire country. That is the way of liberty. Do we find out who did the quote? Because uh, we'll throw it on screen, and I'll uh, try to read that to people here on air, and then we'll go back to Max Kaiser. How do you pronounce that? Sunotomo Yamamoto said the way of the samurai is desperate. He is best known for his saying the way of the samurai is desperateness. And then it goes on to say, 10 men or more cannot kill such a man. There is the proper quote. And that's absolutely true. You fight better fighting 10 people than you do fighting one person. You fight better when you're outnumbered and surrounded. Who was the Marine Corps general in Korea where they were surrounded at least 10 to 1? And they said, sir, we're completely surrounded. And he goes, good, we can attack on all fronts. And they, and they won, too. Because they were outnumbered 10 to 1 and they were surrounded. Then there was no more games. There was no more, there was attack or die. And the truth is we actually outnumber the globalists, but they've got us surrounded and are attacking us. And it's like a one-inch maggot directing the Colossus of Rhodes. It's a joke. I want to go back to Max Kaiser. I'm ranting. The point is InfoWarsStore.com. Get your pro-gun t-shirts. Uh, InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com, get what I believe are the best supplements out there that have just done wonders in my life. People just see me in person. I look even, you know, better, and they say, my God, what's going on in your life? I go, the same amount of exercise, but the right supplements, uh, just, it's, it's revolutionary. The Survival Shield, the Fluoride Shield, the Super Mel Vitality, uh, the Silver Bullet, uh, the new lung cleanse we've got. It, it's all proprietary. It's all groundbreaking. It's all funding the info war and all the other great people and platforms that we support. Look at all the people's news we carry, all the people we have on the show, all the other activists that we are promoting to try to spread the word of liberty. And our talking points, MSNBC bemoans this, are now getting out to everybody. I remember Max Kaiser was saying this to me like four or five years ago, and I thought he was blowing smoke at me, you know, about how, man, your show all over the world is affecting change big time. And then I go to Europe and I'm even bigger than I am here. And I'm not bragging, ooh, I'm big. Believe me, I'm not a narcissist, but I am excited as an indicator of how awake people are that when I was at Bilderberg, almost all the police said they agreed with us and a bunch of them were listeners. It was unbelievable. And, 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 and they got that the Bilderberg group was in there screwing them. Max Kaiser, your comments on that. We're going to have you back on soon about the insider trading and where this is going. And then the whole world markets, uh, what's uh, coming in the future, uh, the Syria situation, the Ukraine situation. I want to get your take on it all, so, so walk through it. But what do you think about the global awakening we're seeing? I mean, you sh really uh, were, were rating it more accurately than I was five years ago. Well, as you know, uh, we are coming to see you in Austin, Alex, myself, uh, George Galloway. We're traveling to Austin. We're going to come and see you because uh, we're making this film, making a couple of films. One film we're making right now that you're in is called Bailout 2, which is the sequel to Bailout. So I'm doing a crowdfunding campaign on Max, uh, my new crowdfunding site called Start Join. Uh, I sent you over the uh, page and we're going to raise 150,000 pounds. Uh, for this project over the next couple of months. And we're going to shoot this all over Europe, which is the se it's the sequel to Bailout, the first film that did very, very well. Sean Fahey is the director. And uh, as part of this project, George Galloway, myself, a few others, we're all, uh, Roseanne Barr is in this project also. 
We're all going to travel to Austin this summer uh, to be on your show live. But as we get into that, I want to get your, hopefully, your listeners to participate in this crowdfunding effort. I don't know. I don't think you've done a crowdfunded film ever over there in Infowars. So I'm hoping that you, uh, this will be the Well, what I time. really want to see get made is the Where's Kenny Boy, because we know he's still alive. Yeah, well, the second, when we get to Austin, we're going to launch Where's Kenny Boy, which is another film right in your studio, because we're going to go right from your studio down to Paraguay to begin principal photography on Where's Kenny Boy. But before that film begins, the lead up to that film is this film called Bailout 2 that you that you're featuring in. The director should show up soon to get some preliminary footage from you. Yeah, he so said he's want, coming to Austin, yeah. Yeah, I want to get your listeners to participate in this crowdfunding effort, and I'm hoping you will also. And as I said, I don't think you've done a crowdfunding film before, but it is a revolutionary way to raise money for projects. Uh, we've also are going to, and I, what I believe is going to be a, a game changer for the global freedom movement, if you want to call it, and that is with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, like my own currency, MaxCoin, and others where you see now whole nations like Iceland and Spain uh, and Scotland are introducing their own cryptocurrencies created by individuals to give, them, to give the people economic freedom and economic self-determination uh, right in under the noses of the new world order. There is just a mass exodus away from the system, and people in the system I'm seeing are waking up even faster than the public. Uh, I mean, that's I'm, right. When you combine crowdfunding with cryptocurrencies, like we're doing with StartJoin, and we're doing with Bailout Two, which is crowdfunding, and you can also use uh, Bitcoin as soon as it reaches 100% of its budget. Uh, you you're introducing ways for the world to create their own economic reality completely outside of the central banks, completely outside of the state, completely outside of the banksters on Wall Street, the people who bet on their own death at 9-11. You don't want to be in bed with people betting on their own death. Uh, that's not the way to build an economic sustainable Well, Max, economy. that's my next point, is that 50 to 1, 40 to 1 bets with John Corzine gets away with it. It is these crazy Wall Street banksters who are the opposite of free market because they have us bailing them out over and over again uh, so their losses are protected. They're the ones running the war against Russia. I, I want to get, because I know you're close to this, you're in Europe. What do you think about the Ukraine situation and what's unfolding there? Well, just quickly, let me give you another example of options in 9-11. After the 9-11 attacks, the stock market crashed. And then companies like Apple and Steve Jobs were, were resetting his corporate stock options at the lower price so that he was, he'd be able to cash in on the victims of 9-11. And a lot of technology companies did exactly that. They, they stretched, if not broke, securities laws by repricing options so they could make hundreds of millions of dollars again on that tragedy. So you had CIA trading on inside information leading up to the tragedy. Then you had people like Steve Jobs and Apple Computer and insiders resetting options contracts after the tragedy. So those people, those poor people, those poor 3,000 people, they were raped, murdered, and bludgeoned by their own citizens in the financial markets even before the plane showed up. They had already been raped horribly by the CIA. You know, that's the, that's the tragedy of it all. They got raped twice that day, once by the CIA and then once by the hijackers, again, by the hijackers. But uh, if you want to talk about the Ukraine situation, uh, what you have, and I think one of your guests who expresses this brilliantly is Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. As he says, there are three countries right now that are outside of the Federal Reserve banking system, China, Russia, Iran. And what we see now is the end game for American empire. The American dollar as world reserve currency, the game plan has been to invade lots of countries and fail. And as you fail, you simply double down by printing more money. In betting circles in the Las Vegas, this would be called the Martingale betting system. And you can look this up online if you type in Martingale betting system. It's a way the gamblers attempt to beat the house by doubling down on losing bets. If you're at the roulette wheel and you bet red, it comes up black. You keep betting red until eventually you either A, run out of money, or B, you win. America's foreign policy is a martingale betting system of foreign policy. They've, they failed in Iraq. They failed in Afghanistan. They failed in Libya. So they're going to use this failing strategy now to try to go into Ukraine. Remember, it's America and NATO trying to get into Ukraine, and by putting in that puppet regime of neo-Nazis, that sparked the Crimean people to seek self-determination. 
And of course, they held a referendum and they voted to be a self-determinant. And Russia said, yeah, fine, whatever. Here's some passports. You can be part of Russia. Now the U.S. is faced with